Hi, welcome back to Building Games on AWS. In this series, we'll be walking you through how to integrate Unreal Engine with Amazon Gamelet. My name is Dylan. My name is Tran. And my name is Zach. We are Solutions Architects here at AWS. We're going to be leading you through the next several episodes from setting up Unreal Engine to building the backend service on AWS. Let's get into it. What is Amazon Gamelet? Amazon Gamelift is a scalable game server hosting service built for dedicated game servers and optimized for session-based games. In this series, we'll be going over integrating the Gamelift server SDK with an Unreal Engine 4 dedicated server build, as well as creating a backend service utilizing AWS Lambda and API Gateway to connect your client to that server. This series is primarily intended towards game developers with some existing knowledge of Unreal Engine 4 and they're looking to host the game servers now on Gamelift. Some of the specific prerequisites we're going to be working with are Visual Studio 2017, which we're going to be using to build the Unreal Engine source code version 4.26. We'll also be using the AWS CLI and the Java 8 runtime environment. We will be going over these prerequisites again as they come up in each episode. So in the next episodes here, we're going to be setting up our Unreal Engine project and building a client and a server build. Then we'll just test that server build locally first. We will then be using Amazon Gamelift to host that server build as well as manage our game server fleet. This will allow our clients to connect to the Gamelift service and then get connection information, specifically the IP address and port of a server that has availability to start a game. Then the game client will be able to make a connection to the game server and start a game session. Once we have the server build up onto GameLift, we'll then be building out our backend service that will connect the game client to that server. Basically, the backend service that we will be creating, as Zach mentioned, will give the client data to connect to the available servers. And for this, we'll be using API Gateway, a fully managed service that allows us to create, publish, and maintain APIs, and Lambda, which allows us to run code without the need of a server. We use this setup with Lambda and API Gateway rather than direct integrations with the game client for two reasons. The first is security, and the second is flexibility. By abstracting away this aspect, we create a more secure environment where the users of the game client do not have direct access to the AWS resources in the account. With terms of flexibility, we're able to add on new components like a database without having to dig through lines of code that may be in our game client. We're going to be setting up user authentication. So we're going to be using Amazon Cognito for this, which is a highly scalable managed service and also has built-in integration with API Gateway, which will make our jobs a lot easier. Through Cognito, new users will be able to register an account using an email address or some external identity provider. Registered users will then be able to get temporary credentials through Cognito with permissions to make calls to our backend service API. Just to recap what this final architecture flow will look like, a user will register or log in to get their temporary credentials. They'll then be able to make a call to API Gateway to join a game. API Gateway will trigger a Lambda function where any of our matchmaking logic will happen, and that will then call the Amazon Gamelift service. The Amazon Gamelift service will find an available server that can, is ready to start a game, and then send the connection details for that server back through the API. Then the game client will start a game session with that IP address and port for the available server. Thank you for joining us in this episode of Building Games on AWS. In the next episode, we will go over how to build a dedicated server using Unreal Engine version 4.26. Your homework for this episode will be gaining access to the source code for Unreal Engine version 4.26 and building the engine from source. We will not cover this in the series, but there will be links to the official Unreal Engine documentation in the description below. 
Please go over these documents prior to continuing with the series. Thank you and look forward to the next episode.